Hello, my name is Isaac Ragg, and today I will be reading my drama production report on Harry Potter and the Cursed Child for my Literature 1000 class, taught by Dr. Jennifer Ailes. Harry Potter and Cursed, Cursed Child. Magical or messy? When the last book in the Harry Potter series was published in 2007, everyone wondered what would come next. Just under a decade later, they found out when Harry Potter and the Cursed Child hit both Broadway and bookshelves. Written by Jack Thorne and based on a story by J.K. Rowling, the drama told the next chapter of Harry Potter's story in a very new way, live and on stage. Together, the minds of J.K. Rowling, Jack Thorne, John Tiffany, and many more brought together old characters and new ideas, trying to create not only a fulfilling story, but an, an entertaining play as well. But what was the final but was the final product magical or did they squib their chances? The Cursed Child takes place 19 years after the last book of the Harry Potter series. This meant that the familiar characters were older and new characters would appear and the producers had to cast accordingly. They opted toward actors that weren't as widely known, especially to the fan base at large, but the actors' performances were praised by many. However, one specific casting choice left people divided and upset. By this time, Rowling had become infamous for claiming inclusion and representation in her books that she had just never written. A few, uh, Jewish Hogwarts students, a gay Dumbledore, and a black Hermione are just a few examples, and it was that last one that caused contention. Though everyone else was cast according to canon, Noma Dumezweni was chosen for the role of Hermione, meaning that Rowling was claiming that Black Hermione was in fact canon, despite having written that she was white in the books. This caused dissent among fans and turned a lot of people away. But outside of this, the actors' performances were still lauded and appreciated. Set 19 years after Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, The Cursed Child was a fast-paced play which changed scenes quite often. The plot centers around Harry's son, Albus, feeling distant from his father and going back to change the past using a uh, time turner, but causing many alternate futures instead and having to deal with the consequences. <clears throat> the play moves quickly for the most part and setting ranges widely. Scenes take place at Hogwarts, Platform 9 and 3 quarters, the Triwizard Tournament, and many others, and the play speeds along with fast transitions. As far as the plot was concerned, it was widely praised by critics, but fans were very critical. Plot holes with time travel, a strange villain, some, some uh, magical spells that didn't seem to quite uh, uh, match what had been uh, told in the books, and a portrayal of Harry that many considered unfaithful were some of the complaints people had. In spite of a mixed view on the plot, however, the play itself remains popular to this day achieving the record for the highest all-time weekly ticket sales in December 2018, garnering $2.5 million. <clears throat> the play utilizes a lot of different lighting techniques, com complicated set pieces, practical effects, and a lot more to make the world of Harry Potter really come to life on stage. Sparks from wands, dynamic lighting, and very choreographed dance setting, uh, dances as just are just some of the details that flow into each other very well and make this a very special uh, very special experience. It really is a work of art and they really came together and achieved that. Though flawed in many places, <clears throat> rather like the relationship between Harry and Albus, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is a beautiful show with a beautiful heart. It takes the storytelling of Harry Potter to a new and fantastic level even if the story does get left behind. <clears throat> the play continues to uh, show and delight fans to this day, and it's a magical experience you don't want to miss out on if you ever get the chance. I myself hope to go and see it one day. Thank you for listening.